welcome back here, bloody legends. This is Aussie Gamer 17. We're continuing my tunic 100% walkthrough. Welcome to part three. Now, before we continue on in this area, this is where we left off at the end of the last video. Also, at the end of the last video, though, we uh, turned on this uh, pillar thing. We're just going to um, run past these guys. And it actually lit up this blue path. That's where we were headed at the end of the last... Oh, purple, I guess it is. I'm a bit colorblind. Um, this path here... And we're going to follow it all the way to the end because it opened up a secret door. This door right here. Uh, we're going to kill these birds if they want to follow us in. I think they do, yeah. Any more? Alright, and we're going to open up this chest which gives us our fourth special coin. Okay, now that we've got that we can head back to where we started the video. Um, so back into this dark area, back through here. Back past these guys, we don't need to fight them again. Although they're gonna follow me, aren't they? All right, I'll just take them out. Get their coins anyway. Sometimes I feel like I'm playing Elden Ring with this game. Hey! I mean, obviously easier, but... Just similar... Similar principles. Alright, there we go. They're all dealt with. And here we are, back where we started. I mean, you don't need to save again or anything. And from here, we're gonna go up this ladder, guys. And then head up, I guess, would call that. And in this dark area, there's going to be a bunch of skellies. Another thing reminding me of Elden Ring, but yeah. Bunch of skellies, and we're going to find two switches. So just um, take out the enemies as we come across them. Oh, he got done by the spikes. Make it uh, past... Oops, wrong button. I was, oh, I was trying to... Whoa, okay. Don't mind me. Uh, past the spikes... Okay, and when you find this uh, sort of pedestal with the chest up on top, you know you're in the right area. This is going to be close to where the switches are. And I'll just take out a few more enemies and we'll find the first switch off to our left. Come here, you stupid bird. Uh, that's the first switch right there, but I'm just going to take out this enemy first and this fly... Oh, no. Where's the... There was a... the flying one. Let's get that first. There we go. There we go. All right. And just go up to this and press A. Can be uh, hard to see what I'm doing here, but you just find this sort of glowing thing. Press A on it. And then we go the other side of the chest. And there'll be another one just here somewhere. We may have to take out some of these enemies first. Oop. A couple more skellies. Hey, get here. There we go. And so the other one is just here. Press A to light it up. And that, once we've got both lit up, we'll move this chest into position and also reveal a ladder. But don't go down the ladder just yet. We're going to go up the stairs on the side of where the chest is. Again, can be hard to see what I did, but that's the stairs that we just came up. Get past the chest to open it up. And this is what I'm going to call a talisman. Uh, again, referencing Elden Ring for those that have followed that walkthrough as well. And our talismans allow us to... Well, we've got to equip them and give us little bonuses just like the talismans in Elden Ring. Uh, for those that didn't play Elden Ring, it, it'll just give us like buffs and things like that. We'll have a look in a sec. Down the ladder we go. Alright, I'm just going to uh, smash all these... Uh, Pots up. Can't say no to a few easy coins. And we're going to make our way down. I'm really confused. I normally, when I do these walkthroughs, guys, I like to tell you which way I'm going. Um, I guess we're heading to the left of screen. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. Out this door and then head to the right of screen first to open this chest. Grab a few firebombs from there and then head the opposite direction and we'll go down some stairs. 
fight some skellies and open that other chest you can see just hiding over the back there. There we go. And this one has another potion piece. Okay, and then we'll go back the other way. Another skelly right there. Ow. Oh, come on. Alright, that's just every time I try and walk on it. I can't remember how to get through this. Uh, let's let's uh, try and not walk on the spikes. Let's do that. There he is. You're on the spikes now, buddy. Ha! And I don't think we can get that chest just yet. No, we can't. We need other abilities. So we're going to ignore that chest for now. We're going to head up this way. Now, I learned this the hard way too. You want to get past these lasers? Just destroy the little uh, statue things that are uh, using... And obviously, you can see what happens there if you go through the laser. But you can just destroy these very, very easily. Head over here. Now, I want to... Uh, let's just try and get past this laser here. Get the uh, skelly. Don't go out that door just yet, guys. Lure him back over this way. Ow, man. There we go. This guy's tough. Oh, I thought he was dead. My bad. Are you dead yet? Still not dead. Still got the tiniest little bit of help. There we go. Open up this chest. Uh, but this is not the chest we came for. Hit this laser here, the hidden statue here, to turn that laser off. Go up where the laser was pointing and find this little hidden door just here, little hidden entrance. And now we're going to follow... Hang on, where, which way am I going? Uh, obviously, it can be really hard to find where you're going, but eventually you get to the end of it. Um, I went a bit left, a bit right, uh, up, right, up, right. I just kept pressing those directions until the A button showed up as a button prompt. And we get, I think, coin number five. And now we just head back the way we came. If we can. There we go. Back out, and now we can go out this door down the bottom. In here, we're going to destroy all these lasers. Uh, some pots. Hang on. Ow, ow. Lucky we're not. Um, killable is the word I think I'm looking for. Destroy all these. Just, uh... I mean, because we can. And in this pot here is our second of ten money bags, guys. So make sure you grab the money bag. Okay, and then we're going to head sort of uh, up the screen. I'm just going to get rid of this laser. And we're going to find the lever here. So that we can open the door to get out of this dark part of the dungeon, finally. Head down to where the, uh, the light opens up. And we can head outside. Uh, then we're going to head around this giant light pillar thingamajiggy. Open another chest. Uh, this is a bit of an upgrade again. So we'll just take that with us. Not really important for the way we're playing. As is that... Oh, let's... um, Look, go press LB. Go into here where you uh, equip your talismans. Let's just equip that talisman. I can't remember which one that one is. And... It's really not important for what we are doing. You can check how many coins we've got. We've got our five coins and our two money bags there. And we've got those two upgrades I was talking about down here. More on all of that probably later. So we're going to press LB. Head back out. And head outside to the left. Uh, there's another little chest around to our right. Let's grab that. Grab some coins. Yum, yum, yum. All right, with that done, we're going to continue on. We're going to a new area called the West Garden. If you read this, it tells us this way to the West Garden. I think this is our first time there. No, I know it is. And here we go. We're going to follow the path across the bridge. Just follow the only path at the moment to get to these big steps. We're not going up the steps. Go round the steps and then across this little bridge. And across this little green um, sort of fallen over pillar or fallen tree or whatever it is. Cross that uh, and then immediately go to our right. And we're in this little hidden path um, that gets us... Hang on. Next to... I don't know if I can figure out where I'm going. I want to be heading up. I'm a bit stuck. 
What's happened? Hang on, up this, ah, oh, I didn't go up far enough, guys. Up, and then to the right, and then back down here. There we go. Can be tricky, some of these hidden paths. All right, and then follow this around. There's only one way to go now. Follow it, follow it, follow it. And then we've got a hidden chest behind here with yet another talisman. Now, we've already equipped that other talisman. We can't uh, equip any others at the moment. I'd prefer the one with the sword rather than the shield, if I'm remembering correctly what they are. And now we go back the way we came, back through this little secret path. Backtracking until we get to where we crossed the pillar. There we are. And then we head down and to the left now. And as we come around this corner, we've got another save shrine. Save your game here if you wish. Okay, we're going to grab another coin in just a second. But before we do that, I want to grab ourselves another achievement. We're going to go into our uh, inventory. We're going to grab uh, the ice bomb. So this blue sort of uh, looks like a potion, but it's actually an ice bomb. We're going to equip that instead of the firecracker. Equip that and then back out of the menu and just sort of pick a wall here and throw the ice bomb into the wall and what you want to do is make sure it lands on you or uh, you need to run to wherever it's going to explode and we need to uh, basically freeze ourselves guys that's the plan so just shoot it out and get frozen bada bing bada boom oops whoopsie that's our achievement excellent and with that done pardon the interruption guys but i just wanted to let you know that it takes a hell of a lot of work to make these guides and walkthroughs that i make on my channel i need all the support i can get from you bloody legends out there so please hit the join button to become a member of my youtube channel or you can join my patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash aussie gamer 17 thanks for the help you bloody legends I'm gonna unequip that just so that um i don't accidentally use it where's my stick gone I don't want to accidentally use um, the items. Now, we're going to go get a coin by going behind the well. You can press A on the well if you want to read the gibberish. And find this hidden path. Yet another hidden path behind the well. And then go straight forward. And this is a shop. And at this shop, he sells the coins that we need. So we're going to grab that. Oh, wait. Oh, I just don't have enough yet. Okay, in practice runs, I had enough. Um... We'll go back. We might come back for that. Anyway, but that's where the shop is. We'll be coming back for that later then. I had just enough in my uh, practice run. Obviously, it's a bit more streamlined doing the guide this way rather than my practice run where I was running around, killing things over and over, figuring out where everything is. So I'll, uh, I'll make that adjustment in the guide and make sure we get that a little bit later. Obviously... Uh, maybe don't buy it if you've got enough coins, just in case I change my mind on what we buy next and you want to follow along, guys. So that's that's my advice, but you do you, and we'll continue on uh, by heading down and then to the right, or our right, I guess. That was left for Tunic. Following this path, we're going to come across a new enemy type, this uh, alligator-looking thingy. Once again, you can... How many coins do I have? 974. So we're, we were actually really, really close to being able to buy that. But anyway, then find this little path up on the top, sort of that heads into the water, and follow that for our next page, which is... Let me check my count here. That should be page number 10 for us. Our 10th page pickup is what I'm trying to say. Hang on. So it was, what, not that page. We already had that one. 25 and 26, is it? No. It's 26... And 27? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The West Garden part. Yep, that makes sense. All right, there we go. All right, and then back out across here and then heading down to our left, find this pillar here. You can walk out onto the pillar and down the pillar into the water. It's not too deep when you stick to the pillar or the uh, whatever we're walking on. Who knows? And then follow it around and then back up and up these stairs here. Open a chest here. Oh, that'll almost give us enough. Whoa, we're 10, 10 coins short. But no, I'm not going to go back. We'll, we go back past there or back to that shop for other things later. So it's going to be fine, guys. Uh, and then he continue heading up. Uh, and wait, then we've got to go right. Oh, yeah, this guy. 
Take out that guy as quickly as you can, actually, guys, so he doesn't get annoying. And then continue up and around. Head left under this bridge. Continue left. Cross over this little uh, walkway here and go up this ladder. We can knock down this bridge for a shortcut back. And open up this little chest here. And now we're going to head back down the ladder and we're going to go grab our next money bag. Money bag number three. So head up from the bottom of the ladder all the way to this chest here. Grab our third money bag. And now... Okay, guys, you might see a strange little edit there because I just found out the hard way that you can actually die with no fail mode on. I died right here. So we're heading back the way we came. We're going to go across this bridge. And right about here, I fell off the bridge into the water and died. I did not know that was even possible, literally until just two seconds ago. Uh, but then we're going to head down this bridge here. I cannot believe I just died like that. Um, I'm glad it didn't completely ruin my uh, recording. I can uh, continue on from here. Now, when you get to here, you'll think, oh, where do I go? You just head sort of down through here. Can be really tricky to find that path. Let's just uh, take care of these enemies. Oh, and I've lost my train of thought where we were headed next. Oh, take out this guy when you... If he... I don't know if that's the one we already killed earlier or not. But whenever you see them, take them out as quickly as you can. Oh, there's another one. Let's get him. Those things really annoy me. Uh, and then from here, we're heading down through here. Continue. Oh, here we go. Take them out while they're still here. Ow. Yeah, I hate those things. All right, take them out. We don't need to worry about the mana pickups. Heading all the way to the left and then up these planks. If you don't take them out, they follow you everywhere, guys. They get really annoying. Down this pillar here. And then we start heading up. We can take out the uh, crocodile thingamajiggies. Ow, ow. Stop that. Ow. Alright, take out all of those and continue through here. Head on up. Hey, more of these guys. Take them out. Real quick, just like that. That was perfect. And open up the chest for some more coins. Yum, yum, yum. And now we can go up the path here. And we're going to take out this guy, but then head straight the way that we uh, started up the path. There we go, take care of him, and then head up here just for a little chest with some firecrackers. For those that don't already have that uh, achievement where you need to kill a certain amount with the firecrackers, make sure... Oh, I got frozen by that douchebag. Let's see if I can get them. I need him to come over here, though. Ah, uh -huh, I dodged it. Yes. Ah, oh, I missed him. Come over here. I'm just going to pretend to head down here, see if he follows me. Nope. There we go. Alright, and go get this chest. It's just firecrackers. Yum, yum, yum. And then back this way. And take the opposite way this time. Well, it's not the opposite, is it? Anyway, take the other path, the one that we haven't taken. We can take out these guys. You and your stupid shield annoys me, mate. Haha, uh -huh. gotcha. And we're actually going to go down and to the right. And we can save our game yet again here. Okay, and then we're going to head back just a little bit the way we came a, a little. And take... Uh, oh, he respawned, did he? They both respawned. Alright, I'm going to leave them. We're going to head to our right here. We might get them on the way back. Or if they catch up to us here, maybe we'll take them all on. Why not? Alright, I'm going to try and get off this bridge. And then I am going to... No! There we go. There we go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Bomb. Ba-boom. How'd that go? No, oh, I still didn't get them all. Oh, well. Deal with them the best you can. Head down the steps. <laughs> Open up the chest. Just for some coins. And then head inside this little room in here. We'll deal with them on the way back. And we get ourselves a new weapon. 
some sort of ice dagger thingamajiggy. Can be important to, you know, mix up the weapons if you were playing without no fail mode. Hang on, I'm just going to put the stick back on as well. Just so I don't accidentally use the bombs yet again. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to just keep the sword for now unless I feel like changing it up. And we're going back the way we came yet again. Um, uh, something I'm getting used to saying. Back the way we came, back the way we came, back the way we came. And when we get to the purple line, we take a right. Maybe this time I'll take these guys out again. Why not? Ow. Ow. Bugger off with your stupid shield, mate. Ow. There we go. Alright, once we have dealt with him, we want to head... Actually, there's going to be more enemies, so let's uh, worry about that in a second. Ow, ow. Big guy, you're going down. Oh, and take out these flying guys when we can as well. Oh no, they got me. Hang on, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him as soon as I wake up. Oh no, he got me again. I forgot to dodge. Okay, these... Like I said, this is why they annoy me, guys. Now you know why. Oh, oh, come on. Look at my sword. All right, come on. Let me out. Am I meant to be... Pre oh, I dodged. Dodged right into it. Maybe I'm meant to press X. Is X going to get me out faster? Uh-huh. Froze him. Froze his own little buddy there. Anyway, uh, before we go up the ladder, head to the path to the right of that. Cut our way through to the next chest. Hey, get out of my way. And here we go. Grab a... I don't know if they're feathers or leaves or whatever. Some sort of power-up that we don't need to worry about. And then back and up the ladder. And, oops, open up another chest for the tooth power-up thingamajiggy. Okay, guys, and actually now we're about to do a boss fight. So I'm actually going to re-equip... Uh, what are we going to equip? Yeah, I'm going to re-equip the uh, thingamajiggy. Um, firecracker dynamite thingamajiggies. We're going to let this rope down. This just sort of opens up a bit of a shortcut. Don't go down the rope just now. Head this way and we'll be in a boss fight. But again, we've got no fail mode on, so it's not too dangerous. Just uh, attack the crap out of this guy. And hopefully we can uh, beat him. All right, if he runs away like that, make sure you shoot him with a bomb. Ow, man. Shoot a, shoot a bomb at him. It does some good damage usually. And I'm going to shoot another one at him. Boom. And one more. Oh, did I get him? There we go. And now I've got to actually fight him. And again, because we're not taking damage, I'm just button mashing here, guys. Well, spamming the X button, but because that's where my sword's equipped. Ow. I actually like it when he gets me in the corner there, because uh, then he's within range. But when he backs off like that, it's no fun. So I can do some damage to him there. But yeah, as I said, right at the start of this walker, if you want to... Um, combat tips, you're in the wrong place. Slowly getting him. Ow. Ow. Go, go, go. Get him. Get him. Get him, little fox. Haha, <laughs> missed me. Oh, that didn't miss, did it? He's got some moves, this guy. Alright, we're nearly there. Nearly. Haha. Uh -huh. Ow. Okay, I didn't laugh at you. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And there we go. Alright, wait for the camera to reorientate so I know where I'm going. And we're heading up and to the right. And we'll get a chest. Our reward for beating the boss is 200 coins now. More than enough for that uh, coin I wanted to buy, but not enough for everything we need to buy for the game anyway. So continue on up into this next area. We'll have to go up a couple of ladders. And we'll grab our next achievement. Three ladders, not two. By hitting the West Bell, I think, or the West Bell Tower. That will unlock our next achievement. I guess it's a story-related achievement. There we go, rang the Western Bell, and that opens up, we've done the Eastern Bell, and the Western Bell now, that opens up that door from the start of the game. And back down we go. 
And if we continue up, we are now back in the main uh, overworld or main hub area, guys. Grab this chest. That's uh, the uh, magic stuff, guys. Uh, head on up. Let this uh, hit this bridge down, and this will take us back. We're right next to the windmill again now. And we can cut our way out, and there's the windmill. Uh, and we are going to go save the game as well, so that we all sort of reset here in the main area. So save here. Okay, and with that done, guys, we are going to head up and open up the big giant door from the start of the game. We will not die this time when we re uh, when we um what was I trying? What's the word I'm trying to? I don't know. Interact. That's the word. Interact with the door. I nearly said reenact. I guess they're similar words. Not really though. They don't have similar meanings. And head on in and find the big um. I don't know what you would call this thingy. Like another big puzzle. Uh, more on that later. We're going to head to the right. And go uh, up this ladder here. Follow this little path. Going to get our next uh, instruction booklet page. Follow the path and pick up the, this page. What's that? Number 11 pick up for us. I do know that I sometimes lose count. And that sort of explains... Not that. That's something we've already done. That explains a little bit of where we are, I guess. Maybe. Sort of. I don't know. It's all confusing. Alright, there we go. And we're going to continue down this way. And open up... Wait, I just want to... My notes say to just go across the bridge. I just want to check if there was anything down here. No, that's why my notes say that. I couldn't remember. Uh, open up the bridge and go across. And then head up and cross again and to our left to get out. Okay, and then we're going to head to the left. I want to find those stairs. Oh, they're up above. We're going to go up one level. So head to the left and then climb the invisible ladder. Dude, climb the ladder. Take out this guy. Enemies seem to be getting tougher, of course. Further we go into the game. Head up this way. Take out the uh, flying skull licking thingamajiggies. Another group of them there. Hey! You didn't even buy me dinner first. Rude. Uh, let's smash some pots. Uh, don't go up the steps. We want to go to the right. Take out these guys. Those stupid shields. Ow. 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 Come here. Oh yeah, I can do that too. Haha. <laughs> it's like a guard counter from Elden Ring. Let's try that again. Oh, I missed. I pressed the wrong button. Guard counter! Ha ha ha. It worked. Sort of. There we go. And open up our chest for some more magic stuff that we really don't need. But I love opening chests. And now we can go down this ladder. Take out these guys. Uh, and was it this way? Yeah, to the left. Little secret path down here. Cross over here. It's even hard just to write myself directions for this game, guys. But get down these stairs. Hit this lever. Opens up a ladder for us. We're going to go down the ladder. You, we're back at the sort of central save spot here. Uh, that's the last save we hit, so we don't actually need to press it again. We're going to go the other way. Take out these blobs again. Well, not again. These are the first time we've taken these on, but you know what I mean. And then... Uh, which way did I want to go? My notes are so hard, confusing. Hang on. Oh, yep. Yeah. We need to put this bridge down. And then when we cross this bridge, don't go up the ladder. There's a little hidden path off to the right. Get in behind the waterfall and open up another chest just for some coins. Yum, yum, yum. And that's all we get for finding this hidden area. And we're going to head back out. Don't worry about the ladder. We are going to go 
back across the bridge, back to this sort of central area. If you read this sign, it says we're going to the Forest Fortress, another new area. Game just keeps getting bigger and bigger, guys. Heading in here, there'll be a chest straight here near the start. And we get another one of those sort of little fox uh, decoy pickup thingamajiggies. And then we can go through this tiny, tiny little archway, head on up, up the uh, ramp here, head to the right. There's a save shrine here, but if you try and use it, it is dead, dead, dead. We need to go down across here and turn it all on. And as you can see, we've got this little mechanic where we can hold the A button again. Turn that on. Open up another chest for some yum yum yums. And now we can save the game here, guys. And that is going to be it for part three. We'll start part four right here in the uh, forest fortress, I think it was called, wasn't it? And we'll uh, explore this area in the next video. I hope you're liking the series. If you are, guys, finding it helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and post a comment. Both those things really, really easy, but they really help my channel and I really appreciate it. So thanks a lot, you bloody legends. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed.